Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Talos Principle. We, uh, let's set up the, uh, the thing here. I don't know if it's the best of times to set it up, but on the off chance that it's a good time to set it up, we shall. So this has got to go here. That would be the best place for that to be. And you need to connect here. Yep. Yeah. That's all we really needed to do with that one. Uh, let's see. So I need a j uh, I already read all this, didn't I? Yeah, and I also read all the stuff in the computer over there, I think. Um, I need a jammer, which most likely will be this one, since there should only be a jammer as an option in this one. So hopefully this one gets me the jammer that I want so that I can get the star. So I need keys to go in there. There's a gallon going over there. The thing there. Hmm. You are a jammer over there. You're a two gallon guns. Ooh. Your, uh, explodey thing. You guys are doing that. More balls. Gatlin's over there. Oh, little hiccup. That's not really gonna be useful to go over there. So, uh, is that... Let's try going over here first. See if there's another jammer. Hmm, no. No, not yet. Okay, cool. So let's go over. Is that the right one? Is that the one that I was thinking about? It sure is. Well, let's do this while we can then. Might as well. It's uh, not like it's particularly out of the way. And it's a star that we want. So, why not? Why not? Do we already read this? Yes, we already read that. Cool. Uh, we wanted to go over here. I'm not walking on the path because there's the the drop down thing. We got that. Yeah, now let's uh open this. How far do you go? Ah, eh, far enough. We got the star, so we don't have to worry about dying anymore. Cool. Uh, keys. We want those. So let's go get them. Move out of the way, would you? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I walked straight into it. Uh, where was... Oh, yeah, right, the thing is all the way over here. Uh, you're not a pain in the ass or anything. Uh, okay. Uh, go back. I want to walk. I want to walk. Stop it. You go over there. Go back. Should be good. You go over here, open that, take this, let the thing pass. Kinda wanna go for Chinese food. Hmm, I might go for Chinese food. You, anything? directly in my path. Yep, sure is. Where do you go? Oh, you do the full circle. Or square. So you guys both, do you only do that? Sure do. Oh, so you don't do the full thing, you just... 
you just do the U. You do that. Actually, you do that. Uh, and then take you to get a third one. Oh, wait, no, that's not gonna work. Cool, cool, cool. That works. Uh, do I need more than just this? This, I can't really do, yeah, no. Okay, so let me just bring this over here. No point in bunny hopping. Uh, yeah, let me just bring all of them with me. Oh, burpy a little bit. I just ate a cookie, so I got a little bit of burps. Cause I'm sure that's how that works. Um, let's see. Got you and is that it? I'll most likely unlock the the one over there when I get the block. I guess that's it. Yeah. Cool. We've got to get the star, so we don't need the jammers for anything else. Um. I still don't know what you're used for. I might figure it out eventually. Uh, two more. The one up in there and the one here. Might as well just do the one nearest. So, wind, block, and laser. And jammer as well. Laser. Laser, wind, laser. Uh, didn't I need, oh, I can probably, there we go, get that to go here, and take this to go back over, maybe, might need it, he'll never know. Uh, take this, take that. Um, yeah, that pushes me back. Can't go over there. Can I disable that with my... Can I disable the fan with my jammer? I don't know. Um. Uh. Let's use the jammer on this, right? Jammer on this one, and that goes to there. Oh, that unlocks the fan. Not exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's activate this. Wait. If you're going to be doing that, then might as well just get all of them with this. Yeah, might, might as well. Not really any reason not to. Um, uh, wait, but I need... You go in here. You, you get that and that. Oh, but then that's not gonna work. Uh, well, uh, hmm. Oh, uh, what do I need to send over there? Myself or blocks? I'm assuming myself. Because it probably goes on top there. Uh, let's double check. Let's double triple check. 
that, that, that. You go there. You... You can jam it. Good to know, I suppose. Yeah, that's just gonna fly on the other side. That's not really all that useful. I can't do that from here. Huh? There's another entrance? That's probably just connected here, so, uh, hmm. So how would I go about doing this? How many laser things do I have? I just have one, right? You follow me. Oh, you do that. And that. Jam that. Really? I guess it doesn't matter whatsoever. Oh, but I can't bring the block there. So I have to take the... F I have to push a block here and then go through here. Okay. I can maybe do that. So I need to bring a block over in there. I think I just need the one block. Yeah. Um. Right. So let me put that there. And then put a block on there. And then jam, uh, come on, there we go, jam that, take, oh, come on now, that, and push the block over there, good enough, good enough, and, and right, I still need, whoa, my bad. Still need to uh, actually do this. That could be important. Um, the only German I know is from Hogan's Heroes, so it's all very outdated. I'm, I am fairly certain of that. There we go. So that's that one. And that means that that's... The music got weird. Sound. Actually, if I mute it for me, it doesn't actually mute it for you. So let me do that. Uh, so there's only that to do. Should we get to have the music on now? Yep. Multiple impossible ascensions. Let's have a look around, see what there is. So I need that. Oh, I need that cube. Uh, actually, I can use that cube to get back out. Um, so if I can if I can get a cube, then I can get that laser out of there. I need one cube to be able to get that one as well. Uh, and then I need that to come from there. So probably put it on here, activate that, that, and that might do the trick. I need one. Okay, that's not weird. Uh, I need one cube to be able to do anything, though. I think I need one cube to start doing anything. Oh, 
Oh. Dummy. That works. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, cool. Uh, give me the fan. Put that back on there. Let me get the other cube. I don't know if it's really all that useful, but on the off chance... Uh, you go there. Might be useful. You, you, and you. Is this all I need? Oh, I need the other cube. Right, uh, I need that cube. I think I only need the two. I don't think I need the third one for anything. I do need the other cube. Is this gonna... Yeah, that's gonna cut it off. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop that. So I am going to need to do that and that. Uh, actually... Yeah, that works. Uh, is that gonna cut? Oh, yeah, on the off chance that it does. Put that there. I've got the other block, which I needed. And then I need that, that, that. I can put that on. Uh, actually, uh, take that and do that. And now is that high enough? Yeah, to cut that off and now I can get that one. Oh, that's already all of this done. It's all of C1 done already. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it did take me two episodes. Two full episodes, or... I'm not sure. Don't remember. Um... Still don't know what this damn thing does. Apparently, I can use something on it. Uh, I'll... In between episodes, I'll go check uh, if there's like an Easter egg or something with that. Because as far as I know, there's, I mean, there's might be something, but I, I didn't figure it out. So I'll just check, I'll check a, a guide for it. Huh. Well, let's do this then. Yeah, this is the one I already did because I wanted to try the monkey bar thing, which isn't actually a monkey bar. It's just like a platform that you hold that you can put stuff on. Um, let's do the simple one first. That one, which would be that one. Uh, well, we could have a look around. Oh, you came back to keep me company. Okay, then humor we humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens. Then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? What's best for me or what's right? Uh... Whatever would reinstate, so that would probably be, be what's right. Whatever would reinstate human beings as living creatures, bringing back humans to existence. No great surprise there, but let's make things just a little clearer. So tell me this, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world or is there, does it apply here as well? Moral laws only apply under special conditions. Moral laws are universal. Um, moral laws are... should be held as often as possible and as widely as possible, but they are to be bent during specific situations. So they don't only apply under specific conditions, special conditions, they only don't apply under special conditions, but... Does any reason underpin that conclusion, or is it just a convenient thing to believe? Uh, morality doesn't apply to a dream, computer programs have no moral status, justice can only exist in a society, I've changed my mind, morals are universal. Uh, justice is... 
dependent on the people that believe it to be whatever it is. This isn't a dream, it's a computer simulation, so it's not... It's not exactly moral-free, but it's not moralless. Wait, no, that's not... I just said the same thing twice. Well, whatever. Um, I don't see why that has anything to do with... Yeah, but I'm a computer program. Morality does apply to dream change my mind. Uh, you're not giving me a good answer here that I can give. Uh, well, I'll just default to that one then. Interesting. You scratch my back, I'll put a roof over your head, that sort of a thing. But what about those lucky few that find themselves inside your benevolent cartel? How will you do? How will you do right by them? The more equal every, everyone's share, the better. Ah, no, nope, that's communism. The more goodness in the world, the better. Philanthropy? Consequence doesn't matter, our reasons do. Interesting. I see no way to explain what I believe. Nope. That's a very vague thing, goodness. So how the hell are you going to describe or quantify that one? Um, consequences don't matter, our reasons do. Consequences do matter, but our reasons also matter. Intent matters as well as consequence of action. Um, hmm. It's very vague, but that's the best one here, I think. Oh, that old chestnut. <laughs> Yeah, that old chestnut. Just what is this goodness that you seek that you're seeking to maximize? Happiness, liberty, equality, wealth, basic goods like food and healthcare. I'm not in a position to solve these problems, all the above. Equality to an extent, happiness sure, maybe. Um self fulfillment would be more important than happiness. Uh liberty is pretty high up there, for me at least. Wealth is Monetary wealth can be useful, but it's not as important as other kinds of wealth. Uh, basic goods. Goodness. What goodness do I want? Goodness in the world. Uh, happiness, liberty, equality, wealth, basic goods, all of the above. Is all of the above, does that count? I'm not in a position to solve these? Because I certainly as hell ain't. Um, uh, eh, I think that's the best one. Rights, basic goods like food and healthcare. Uh, uh huh. What happened when in, when in order to maximize wealth, you have to reduce liberty? Or when one person's equality gets in the way of another's happiness? You can't have everything all at once. You're going to have to choose. Yeah. Uh, I would prioritize... Uh, I would prioritize... Equality is... Uh, hmm. Wealth is at the bottom of it. And above that would be equality. The thing with equality, is it, are you asking for equality of, like equality as a starting off point or equality of outcome? Because equality of outcome is an awful thing. It's terrible, absolutely awful, atrocious. It, it It's the basis of Marxism and communism and it's, it does not end well. We've seen that plain and clear many times. Um, so that's not... Equality would be fairly high up, but it depends on what equality you're talking about. I think I'm putting more thought into this than I really should, but I feel it's important. So... It's worth... If it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. If it's worth thinking about, it's worth overthinking about it, or something, maybe. You can't have everything all at once. That's true. You're going to have to choose. That's true. Um, 
above everything else, liberty, wealth, not wealth, not happiness. Basic goods like food and healthcare are very useful, very important to have, but is it the most important? I don't know. Uh, it's either between basic, it's food and healthcare or liberty, I think are the two top ones. And then I'm not in a position to solve these problems is definitely true. But he asked for an answer and I want to give him an answer, a straight answer, as straight as it can be. Liberty. Very good. Everyone likes to be able to do whatever the hell they like. I suppose that liberty, this l liberal paradise of yours includes things like freedom of speech and faith. Yeah. But might not the outcome of those liberties be to reduce the liberties of others? If I am free to establish a faith, which from which women are excluded, you are not free to live in a world without sexual discrimination. Each liberty can, can counteracts another. So the idea of a maximally free world is a fairy tale, no more. They must be some other more, uh, I would maximize liberties only where I could do so equally. Yes. And some liberties aren't worth protecting. That's true also to an extent. Liberties only where I could do so equally. Yeah. I think that's what I'm thinking about. I can't for the life of me think what it could be. Okay, but then I wonder if everyone deserves equal liberties, mustn't there be something which is actually equal about them? Uh, we're all equally human, we're all equally persons, equally intelligent, that is definitely not true. Equally rational, nope. Equally capable of feelings. To an extent, depending on the people, sure. Contribute equally, N not a damn chance. Uh, nothing equal about us apart from our moral status. Uh, because eventually we'll deviate from humankind and we'll become, well, yeah. Uh, hmm. Persons. Uh, uh. I'm going either in between equally persons or nothing equal about us from our apart from our moral status. I'm inclined to go to that one. Sounds like wishful thinking to me. Pff, all very well proclaim. All very well proclaiming. You say the word proclaiming. There we go. Equality like some kind of profit, but another thing entirely to actually explain why it holds. You know there are shed loads of broken theories less ridicule than the one you're chewing through. How about I give you a bit of space to consider them? Oh, and if you- and if the real world turns out to be everything you imagine, do me a favor and leave me here. Will do. As there's always going to be trade-offs. Nothing is going to be perfect. It's impossible for everything to be perfect. Even when it's been engineered to be perfect, there's going to be something that somebody is going to dislike about it. Eventually. It's just going to happen. As far as I can see. We're about at the end of the episode though, so... Let's go, go read these two things and then I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. Probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They said awful things to me and I've said awful things to them. But that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Yeah. You say awful stuff about each other because you care enough about each other to, uh... 
to say awful things. It's kind of how it goes. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely, <laughs> but we don't. So I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. This is grim. From Alan Jameson. Institute for Applied Nomadics. To Fran. Last days. You know what the oddest thing about all this? We're not constantly fighting, have us having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused. And we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal. Like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess what... I guess what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help. But I didn't expect it to feel like this at all. You know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck. Alan. P.S. Love from George. Hmm. I'd say that's about a good spot to end it. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day, stay safe, and goodbye.